There's trees. Maybe we should get out of here. Look at the branch. Come here, Ali. Get under the <laughs> their house. Everything is trying to kill you today. This was the only boy I didn't sell out of the last eating season. He was always very, very sick. I'm gonna show you what he's gonna have a a little bit of a TLC day today with us. He's gonna get a bath. He's been banded for a while, but it took him a really long time to drop them. Everything seems okay, but if you look at it, he's so small that he gets all the hay stuck and it's like to the next level. You can't even see his skin. So today he's gonna get a really good bath a good brush and I'm gonna dry him off with a hair dryer as you can see he's extremely itchy now this guy just needs a little bit of love he is doing great as far as minerals and overall health because of all the care and all the time and all the love I've been pouring into him since he was born but this is what I'm trying to avoid right now I am trying to avoid having one of the quads be extra, you know, needy uh, to the point that, you know, it may have been more beneficial for him since he was the smallest of the litter to put him in a bottle, uh, you know, stick with it for a couple of months or until he hit the two, you know, 20 pounds and that way I could I could have prevented all the stress that he went through because of fighting with his brothers and not being the strongest, being the smallest and you know all that that made him have some kind of a, like a coccidia bloom I guess and he just struggled a lot and what it does it affects the, the lining of the intestines and not letting them uh, grow so so he's seven months today and look at him I'm gonna take his weight and I'm gonna share that with you in another video but this is the perfect perfect example of why it's really important to me this next kidding season to do it right to um, try my best at least and then leave it up to the kids to grow and you know develop but there's a lot of things that go into raising them right when they are not with mom and i just didn't want to pull them away from mom but now i am starting to realize that in this situation he paid the price for not being bottle fed and that's not what i want ever again like since he got better from his coccidiosis he you know is doing great his formaggio score is amazing for where it was before and uh you know overall he's an improvement i mean he's improved but he will never be the healthiest uh, goat he will always have to be checked on and and just because his immune system was compromised when he was a little kid and that's that's exactly what I'm trying to avoid next time we have quads in the farm and hence my main reason why I'm gonna do things different in the next kitten season so He was on my lap for like 10 minutes and he is not interested in going anywhere, huh? Are you? You said you cute baby goat. Yes, you are. Like he's not sick, he's just this chill all the time. Right, baby? Right, love. Your bubble butt is almost ready. Oh.
gonna do this pet shampoo with this uh, Tropi Clean. I think that's what it, the brand is. It's all natural and it's papaya and coconut. Um, you can use this for dogs, you can use it for all pets. And I'm gonna do kind of a bubble bath. I'm gonna fill it up to the top. So he'll have plenty of water to be sitting in as uh, so I'm scrubbing. Then I'm gonna empty this and I'm gonna use this water that I'm hoping will be hot <laughs> by the time we start. And with little cups, I'm going to rinse them. And it's just because our water heater is not working at the moment, so I don't want to um, use this. Usually when the hot water it's working or the water heater is working, I'll just use this to rinse them, but we're gonna have to adjust if we want to make this happen. So this is gonna be his bathtub. He is favorite part. He gets all scratches. We brought a clean boy. Who wants to be next? You, Clara. No, girls, don't eat from there. Not so girls. You wanna go with your friends or you wanna eat some hay before you go? Hmm? You can eat. Because those little piggies ate everything. Are you really? Are you serious? <laughs> 
Where are you going, baby boy? Look, the girls are there. They wish they could be in here. Like, I'm gonna explore. I don't want hay. I'm a manly man. Oh, I love your color, baby. Do you wanna come and eat? Like, what does this girl want? You're not hungry? No. We just had a bath. I'm exhausted. Wanna go with the girls? Oh, the wind is coming. And now it's gone. Bye, wind! Baby, we brought you here so you can eat. They ate everything. <gasps> oh, careful, baby boy. I'll explore here. You guys ate like pigs. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love how he finds the weirdest spots to eat his hay. Oh no. Hey, you in your face again, sir. Aliba. He's so cute. I've solved the mystery. He doesn't like that hay. Oh, he does like it. It's all the same. I don't know why he he's. I think he wants to explore because he's never been here before. Since he's a boy, he never gets milked. Poor baby. Oh, there you are. Oh, Yali, please. Please, Yali. Let me eat like a manly man that I am. We should go to the beach. Sure. Are you done? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, great. Thanks, sir. Thanks for being in here. Great. No, Clara. Clara. No. Oh.